Earlier today, we told you about an alleged sexual assault that happened at a UW-Madison fraternity on Langdon Street Saturday night. The police aren't investigating it, and our Achille Arthur joins us now to explain why experts say reporting to law enforcement isn't always the right path for victims. Keely? Charlotte, under the Cleary Act, UW-Madison has to alert their campus about alleged crimes. But this particular case isn't being investigated by police right now for two reasons. One, because the victim did not come forward. They told a resident's life staff member who then alerted UW officials. And secondly, there are a number of ways for a victim to report an assault without ever having to go to police. Less than a week into the fall semester, most UW freshmen like Alexandra Wolf are just trying to figure out what it means to be a college student. I had to get textbooks and start class, but then I had rush and that's still going on. So I've pretty much been doing that the past week. But on Thursday morning, in between all of the exciting experiences was a reminder of the dark side of campus. This morning when I stood in my business class, I got the email that there was a sexual assault case. It's just troubling to, to hear that something like that would happen so early. On Thursday, the entire UW-Madison community was alerted of an alleged sexual assault at a fraternity house on Langdon Street Saturday night. Also in the email was a note saying the police were not actively investigating. I thought that was weird, but I can't exactly question it just because I don't know what's going on. Carmen Juniper Niamico, the manager of violence prevention and victim advocacy at UHS, says the explanation is rather simple. Students at UW-Madison have lots of options as it comes to reporting. A victim of sexual assault doesn't need to report the crime to police for it to be investigated. Students can file a report through the Dean of Students Office or Title IX coordinator. There are also a number of other supportive services available on campus and beyond. And for some people, telling their friend and having their friend believe them is the best they could do and absolutely is the right choice for them. So which path is the right one to take? Whichever one helps the survivor feel okay again. There's no right way to heal, but we do know that um, emotional support systems, family support systems are very important. Now, according to university officials, about half of sexual assaults are reported in the U.S., but on college campuses, that number is much smaller. Of the 27.6% of female undergrads at UW who said they've been victims of sexual assault in a survey, more than 70% of them did not report that in any way. Charlotte? Keely Arthur reporting for us tonight. Thanks, Keely.